related news, actor Columbus Short spoke out on a podcast recently and said Diddy tried grooming him. He said Diddy invited him to his hotel at 2 in the morning so the two of them could be alone. Take a listen. He said, wait, 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 what, you, what you doing? I was like, oh, man, I'm at the crib. He said, oh, yeah, we over here at the, um, he said, I'm over here at the, um, the Beverly Hills Hotel. I said, oh, for real? So who over there? Just me. All right, could this just be an innocent, you know, like, bro time? Or was Diddy looking to be a bad boy with Mr. Stomp <laughs> the Yard? Um, Al, <laughs> what do you say, Al? I think it depends on the hour in which the call was made. And from what I think I understand, it was after 2 a.m. or closer yes. to 3 a.m., I th right? If, am I yeah. right, producers? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think anything, <laughs> what does that say? Your grandmother said it, your mother said, ain't nothing open after 12 midnight except for legs <laughs> mm -hmm. and mouths. Um, you know, I let me just, let me preference what I got to say by saying, I do believe everything he is saying. But why are you talking about it now? And this is what concerns me because it gives me that kind of feeling that he's kind of like coattailing slash snitching. And, and that's the part that makes me feel uncomfortable with this. Like, why didn't you share it earlier? And I'll continue to say this. Why didn't you share this earlier so that it could stop this behavior in some way? Or is there a purpose for you sharing the behavior now? Because you want to lean into the conversation when everyone's kicking and while he's down because he didn't abuse you. So what's the purpose of you sharing it, right? And I just also want Columbus Short to just be very clear. You know, his closet ain't that clean either, you know, around, you know, we talk, we've talked more in the past few years about Columbus Short, not his acting, but his antics with his ex-wife, or was it, yeah, or is, are they still married? Remember that incident? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and yes. what happened at Scandal? Uh, I think we're talking more about his, his other bad stuff than talking about him being a great actor. So for me, a little question mark here. It sounds a little, you know, wanting to add to the story, co-telling and snitching to me more than anything. All right, Armand, I saw you having a visual reaction. Oh um, yeah, because I'm over here going through it because I, let me guess how. So he needed a 73 page document for you to get it because to me, you just went from Believing the victim to now he's alleging that something happened now it's like why now till No, he's not alleging know. nothing happened. He just alleged that he that Diddy was calling him and talk was trying to get him to come over his place. There's there's nothing illegal about that. And what did Absolutely you just say criminal. that meant? Nothing is I'm, open at 3 a.m. What does that mean to you? That he was horny and he was trying to hook up. That's not illegal. If so, I would be in jail. But He's alleging that Diddy was trying to groom him then. He was trying to groom him. Okay. You got to read the article. So they were saying that he, I, he I definitely like, read the article, like young man. I definitely read the article, him. but that's, that's, he's allegedly saying he groomed him because he called him one night. Come on now. That's like I said, that's coattailing. That's not like, okay, so where, where is grooming illegal by calling someone at three o'clock and wanting to try to get some action? Half the men and women on this, really? day, on, on this Zoom, is it illegal, Armand, is it illegal to call somebody at 3 a.m. and try to get them to come over to your place to have some fun? If yes or no? I, this is P. easy. Diddy, if I'm P. Diddy and I have power and I got people afraid of me because I'm shaking them over balconies and blowing up cars and I'm trying to break into an industry. So, yes, that is a little bit. It's not technically illegal, but it's not right. You know what you're doing. Boy. You know, All okay. Right. At the end <laughs> go, of the day, go I'm to the with, next the thing, Claudia. Now, go to though. the next thing. No, 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 because I'm with you, though. <laughs> Why now? But I'm keeping that stance. I'm keeping the same energy. I'm not flip flopping. I'm with you. Why now? It seems like a lot of these people are trying to jump on the bandwagon because it's profitable right now. I think Diddy is disgusting, but I just feel like, why now, Columbus Short? Why now, producer? What's in it for you? And why were you holding up? So I'm with you, Al. I'm just saying, it just seems like you went from that guy to then turning on this guy when we really on the same team here. Because it sounds weird at these people coming out for these egregious reasons, and it's not really making sense. So I, 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 agree. I, I apologize. I find that there's a difference between doing stuff that's illegal, like sexually assaulting someone, touching someone's genitalia, grabbing their anus, forcing them to do drugs so that, you know, sex trafficking, guns, shooting, and all of that. I will never. And I don't care who hears me say this. I will never put that in the same category as someone drunk dialing looking for some action. Never. Because if that's the case, sign me up and put me in jail. 
I will say this. I know we have to get some chat, uh, some comments from the chat. I will say, I know there's a lot of why now, why now. That comes up a lot on this show. I think with Diddy, with a lot of people that actually have been in the business for a long time, a lot of people have been afraid of Diddy. And until Cassie kind of kicked the door down and, and was fearless, I think mm -hmm. it made it a little, it feel a little bit safer because there is safety in numbers. So now people are like, oh, I got a story. Let me tell. So it might be a combination of some people looking for some attention. Like, oh, I met him once. Or some people feeling finally like, oh, I feel a little safe. I don't know. I don't want my car blown up. So let me go ahead and read some of these comments. <laughs> no, I want to know what no, you think. I want to know what you think, what what you think, think about. Yeah. Do you think, do you think this Diddy calling him at 3 a.m., asking him where he is, you know, and he's in music, he's in acting. I'm, you know, so the influence thing, like Armand said, uh. is that illegal? Is is that illegal? No, no, is is not illegal, and I do think okay. Columbus Columbus is a funny guy, and I think he's you know you gotta know Columbus's humor. It's definitely not illegal, inappropriate, yes, because Columbus was laying there with his girlfriend or wife at the time. Uh, if some man called me at three o'clock in the morning, I'm with my man. My man will cuss me out, right? Like we right. that's inappropriate. We know those are booty call hours, not illegal. Would you would you feel uncomfortable? I'd feel uncomfortable if someone that had power like that hit me up and said, "Yeah, absolutely, one thousand percent." Why answer now, the call? Now, um, I'm not working. If I that person, Diddy, can, I don't know if Diddy can hurt Columbus career wise. Maybe he can. I don't know. Why? Why? What? What you say? Why answer the call? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just asking. You, if you felt uncomfortable, you why would you answer the call? I was sending the voicemail and be like, I was asleep. I, if I don't it's know, Diddy, some, some, you're going to answer that phone call. No, not me. Some people are with the shits though. They just be like, I'm curious. What is this about? <laughs> right, right. I probably answer just because I'm nosy. That's like oh, Tyler no. Perry calling you saying <laughs> you're not going to answer the call, or you know what I mean, or Oprah's call. I'm not going to answer. Mm, you might uh, take that call at 3 a.m. I would be like, I would hit the like, cannot talk right now, or sleep, or something. We have if some comments. Columbus wanna... said Diddy. Uh, also, Columbus did say that Diddy kept trying to hang out. Like it wasn't a one time thing. He just gave mm. one example. I, I'm gonna call Columbus. Maybe Columbus will come on the show. I did ask him to come on the show, and maybe we can work that out. Because I really want to ask Columbus and let him tell us. Maybe there's uh, other he can tell us about other times. Uh, Maury Davis uh, Diva said, uh, "Doesn't Columbus show to have domestic dispute issues? Be quiet, Columbus, and stay in your lane." I gotta say this though: just because you have a check it pass doesn't mean that you can't be a victim of something. Like I don't think we should do that. Like if you've committed, a, 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 you know, if you've made mistakes in your life, you, no one can commit anything against you. That uh, I don't know about that. And uh, Brandy said, "Has Diddy ever called Al?" That's a wrong. <laughs> Al, would you pick up the phone if would Diddy you... called you? Al, would you no, pick up the phone? No, no, no. What about in the late nineties? <laughs> uh. Well, in the late nineties, I was a banker. Um, I did prospect him and, and, and if not at 3 AM, because you got to set boundaries when you're building your business. So I wouldn't have picked it up at 3 AM, but I would have definitely called him back at 7 AM. 